Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am Renal Zero and today we're gonna get it, give you I'm gonna give you an update about the Lollipop Chainsaw remake straight from Yoshima Yasuda, who's the original creator, I believe, of this game. And we're gonna go through this article here from Bounding in the Comics titled Lollipop Chainsaw Producer. Okay, he's a producer. Doesn't want to censor Juliet's design. I would hope not. We'll negotiate with platform holders to keep remake as close to original as possible. And as you know, Sony or Sony or whatever you want to call them are the biggest people who censor anime titties. But they are okay with the with the with the scenes from The Last of Us Part Two with Abby, but they're not okay with anime titties. So you know that they're gonna be the ones that are gonna censor it most likely. And this article actually explains that yes, they are gonna censor it. I'm going to go ahead and read. Lollipop Chainsaw's series producer has denied the remake will be censored, but nonetheless have, nego have to negotiate with platform holders. Yes, you can deny it, but until I see the proof that it's not censored, I don't believe you. Because <laughs> we've heard this be over and over before from other developers, and it's happened. <laughs> As previously reported, the 2012 Hack and Slash video game was teased and eventually announced to be having a remake in 2023. Yoshima, Yoshimi Yasuda, CEO of Dragami Games and an executive producer of the original Lollipop Chainsaw, explained part of the motivation was to bring the game onto newer systems to be more easily played because as of right now, you can only play it either on PS3 or the or in the 360. You can't play it on a current gen Xbox because it's not backwards compatible, which is a shame because it's a great game. And if it went backwards compatible, I would own the game. I'm actually, gonna probably look at look for it later on on eBay. However, the remake would not be without hitches. Many of the licensed songs within Lollipop Chainsaw will be impossible to use again, aside from a few of the chose tracks. The soundtrack would feature new music. Further, designer Suda51, love that man, seemed to not be involved along with writer and future director James Gunn and if you don't have these guys involved do not do the remake because Suda51 is the literal brainchild of this game Yasuda also stated since we have access to consoles with higher specifications we will be taking a more realistic approach to the graphics this time which I don't want we don't want that we like the funny weird graphics that this game has that's the whole point since the original game had a unique style and a near decade of censorship of sexual content in video games, fans were worried this was the veiled conf confession the game would be censored. Yes, we, we don't want the game censored. We're tired of companies censoring tits and ass in our games. We're tired of it. As such, Yasuda took the Twitter once again to clarify some points. And we're going to pull up the tweet here and pull up the actual announcement here and read it. It has been a week since the Lollipop Chainsaw remake has been announced. Many fans have inquired about the contents of the previous announcement. And we would like to take the time to share our thoughts and intentions regarding the project. The primary goal of the Lollipop Chainsaw project is to make it so that players who wish to play Lollipop Chainsaw can do so easily. Not to make a new Lollipop Chainsaw game. Which they should. They should absolutely make a sequel. Of course, the ideal thing to do would be to make a remastered version of the original game. Changing nothing. Yes, we don't want anything changed. We just want a remaster. That's all we want. However, we were unfortunately unable to include the 16 of the licensed songs, which were a great part of the original game's feel. So And so we are instead aiming for a remake that is close as possible to a remaster. We've taken notice that there have been specul has been speculation that the remake will change the story. We believe that Lollipop Chainsaw's story is a huge part of what fans love about the original game. And the way Julia looks, obviously. And we, the development staff, feel the same as such the story will not be changed in the remake. It's good to know. Additionally, we do not intend to change the aesthetics of the game. The mention of how the game will have a more realistic look in the previous announcement was meant to refer to how we will make use of the advanced rendering technology available in current game consoles. We do not wish to change Juliet's, Juliet's design. I believe her name is Juliet Sterling or Juliet Starling. And the assumption that we want to is baseless. Let me just... Fix this really quick. Uh, anyway, finally, we learned after the announcement of All About Chainsaw Remake that many fans are worried about censorship in the game. I'll actually go back to the article and I think it's here. Uh, 
done. Yeah, and these are the outfits that we don't want removed. This was the this was the hardest outfit to obtain right here. I think it cost the most to obtain. Here. We did not wish to change Juliet's design. The assumption that we that we want to is baseless. Yasuda, sure. We were the ones who created Juliet's model data after great trial and error 10 years ago and feel attached to her more than anyone else. Finally, we learned after the announcement of the Lollipop Chainsaw remake that many fans are worried about censorship in the game. We have not yet discussed the issue with the platform holders yet and thus cannot say anything about the topic. But what we can say is that we intend to negotiate with platform holders to make it so that the game can be as close to the original version as possible. And this is the original tweet I was reading that... I couldn't read for some reason. A lot of our chance that does plenty of fan service with main characters who are usually wearing a cheerleading outfit uniform and wear more scandalous unlockable costumes with several camera angles showing up her buttocks and chest. The original Lollipop Chainsaw was launched on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, but the former may cause an issue this time around. They always do. In 2018, 2018 a PlayStation executive admitted that then Recent revelation, Japanese developers were being told to censor sexual content in games on their platform with to meet global standards. You know, because we got SJW weirdos who are ugly as fuck and they can't stand looking at gorgeous women. But that censorship going on to this ongoing to this day, hypothetical PlayStation version of the game is unlikely to be uncensored. PC may be another avenue, as Valve previously announced that they would allow everything onto the Steam store except for things that we decide are illegal or straight up trolling. While there have been several cases of games being banned, their dark sexual content was far beyond anything that was found in the original Lollipop Chainsaw. Yeah, there was a ton of sexual in the end, though, because it works. With a with a brilliant mind like Suda51, it works. He made it work completely well with no more heroes. Literally, that game, the goal of that game was to... Rise the ranks to get some pussy. That was literally the storyline of the game. And he made it work. And it became a cult classic and a fan favorite game that he created. And that's why I got two sequels. And of course a game called Travis Strikes Again, which wasn't very good. But, glad to hear there's some type of update about this. I will wait until the product is out. I don't believe that the product will not be censored. I'm sure it will be, and I'm sure if it comes to PC, it'll be fixed with mods and everything. I do expect Sony, or Soiny, as we call it, to fuck it up and censor the game because they're Soiny, and they're terrible, and they're in California. They are a terrible company. I do not support them. I don't buy any of their products. If I do buy products, it's all on secondhand market on eBay, and that's the only way I'm ever getting a product from Soiny, ever. They do not deserve my money. They don't deserve your money because they censor products that are not even theirs. They can censor all their products. I don't care. They can do what they want. Although I don't recommend it, and I hate it, but when you censor a game that is made by a outside third-party developer, especially a Japanese developer who makes some of the greatest games ever made, like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts and Dragon Quest. We have a problem, and I don't like it. But other than that, you know, just bringing you the news and update on this. I really want this game to be great. If I'm able to get a copy of the original, I will probably probably on PlayStation Three. Pre-owned, of course, like I said. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and tell me what things you'd like me to, to talk about. I would really appreciate that. I will leave a link to my Twitch channel in the description so you can watch me over on Twitch. And I will also leave a link to the Ripperverse because I'm so hyped. And you should go and absolutely back that project. It's going to be great. And I hope you guys will be great. Until next time. Peace out.